Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wigging Out with Bobby Z, hosted by me, Bobby Z. It's a Wiggy Weavy Wednesday, and it's a quick little tutorial for you guys today. So yay! I'm calling bitches out. Clean yo lace. Clean your freaking lace. Clean the lace on your wigs. Clean it. Why do I have to clean my lace? I'm flawless. I look good. Whatever. You can't clock this. Yes, bitch. I can clock it because it's dirty. When you wear a lace front wig, more often than not, you're going to have to glue that lace down at least at your temples, if not all the way around. If you're not gluing it all the way around, you're at least sweating while you're in that and the makeup on your skin is almost melting into your front lace so that when you're wearing it at that time, it's going to be fine. But you put that wig away and you come back to it a couple days or weeks or months later and you go to put it on when your face is all done, that makeup is going to be dried and caked on your lace and it's going to be super, super duper visible. A lot of the girls out there would rather just cut all the lace off of their lace fronts and then, you know, they don't have to worry about it. Personally, I'm a theater girl, my laces are long as shit, but my wigs last longer and my lace fronts lay a lot flatter by having longer lace. It's a whole other tutorial and conversation for another day soon. When you're using the glue, if you keep applying glue over glue over glue over glue, you get what I like to call the rubber eraser effect. And basically what that is, is that's when your lace have so much glue caked into them on both sides of the lace that you can't even see the honeycomb texture of the lace anymore. And it looks like someone just thinly sliced a pink eraser and stuck it on your skin. Cut it out, clean your lace. You are gonna need a few things that if you are doing drag or you are doing wigs, you most likely have all of this stuff already in your house. So you're not really gonna have to go out and buy anything. The most important part of cleaning your lace and removing the glue and the makeup buildup is isopropyl alcohol. The higher the percentage, the better. This is 99% alcohol. I got this at Alcone. You can also buy it at Manhattan Wardrobe Supply. The lower the alcohol number, i.e. 75, the less amount of alcohol there's actually in it, which means it'll take longer to activate and to work, and it will also take a lot longer for it to dry. And always make sure it's the clear isopropyl alcohol. You're also going to need either a paper towel or a microfiber cloth. I personally prefer a microfiber cloth because they're reusable. You can see I already recorded the tutorial, so there's makeup all over it. Throw it in the wash and everything comes out of it. It's great. And paper towels are great because they're disposable. You're not really making a mess of anything. You don't have to do any laundry. However, the thicker, the more sandpapery feeling, the better. If you use Bounty or anything like that, those are so much fluffier and softer. As you go in there and clean the lace, you're gonna get pills. And the pills are so much harder to remove out of your lace or out of the hair of a wig. So just stick to a nice, papery feeling paper towel. You're also gonna need a toothbrush. Now, personally, I use this one, which is Swiss Co, and it is the medium bristle. This is just a natural bristle toothbrush with a wooden handle. You can use a regular toothbrush. However, the natural bristles are a little more stiff and they're a little more densely compacted. So it's gonna be a lot easier to get in there and clean off that glue and makeup residue if you use a natural bristle toothbrush. And I've had this toothbrush for years. You also are gonna need some gauze pads. And it's a great alternative if you don't have a brush because they do have a little bit of a texture so you are gonna be able to get the glue broken down. And gauze pads are also really good if you don't wear a lot of makeup or if your makeup's not very heavy. You're gonna be able to just kind of swipe some alcohol covered gauze pads over the lace. You're gonna get it all off in one fell swoop. You're also gonna need some sectioning clips to kind of get the hair out of the way of the lace front so that you can clean it better. I do sell both of these at bobbypins.com. They're very convenient. They're very handy. Pick up a whole bunch. All right, so you guys are going to recognize this wig from my photo shoot with Katya. And also, I wore this myself in a drag singing competition because I was too lazy to do some more hair last year. So you guys can see here on my hand, this is the lace front of the wig. This is the temple area. You guys can see how visible that lace is against my skin. You can see 
that it's orangey, and you can also see that there's a little bit of glue residue here. I clean my glue and my makeup off every single time I wear my wigs, so the glue does not get built up. You can also see, if I turn it this way, the makeup that's in the front of the hair of this wig. But, you know, this does happen when you have lighter colored wigs and you're wearing thick theatrical drag makeup, it's gonna get in your hair. If you're cleaning your lace on a wig block that's not covered, I would suggest covering it with a plastic bag so you don't run the risk of transferring that makeup or the glue to the block itself. And I'm just gonna tie it in a knot in the back because this bag's very big. If you guys can even hear me talk over the crinkle. If you wanna learn how to do a wig like this, I do classes on Skype. I also do classes in person in New York City to show you guys how to beat some hair. Let's zoom in on this girl right here. So you can see that I have all of this, you know, glue and makeup buildup visible on the wig. So on this side, I'm gonna show you with a paper towel, and on the other side, I'll show you with a microfiber cloth, just to make sure that your wig isn't gonna go anywhere. You wanna make sure you have at least one or two pins in the top of it to hold it on your head. I skinned my knuckle in my bathroom a couple weeks ago. Sorry about it, it's gross. So now you can definitely see how much makeup and glue and nastiness is on this lace. That's super visible. You wanna take your alcohol sprayer and you just wanna coat that lace. And you can already see, see dripping right here? There's little drips of makeup and glue already. This stand is loud. So I'm gonna take my gauze pad right here, gonna spritz that a little bit too right there and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gently gonna rub the lace and for the most part I do this gently and I'm going side to side a little bit just to break it up and then I go forward just to make sure that I'm getting the edge of that lace. And you wanna make sure that you go all the way around behind your ear, behind that sideburn, because you're gonna have makeup there. So now when I remove this paper towel, you can see it, it's transferred onto the towel. There is still quite a little bit of makeup residue on the lace, which you guys will see now that I put a clean new towel underneath. And this is why I like using the little toothbrush. So all you need to do is after you wet your lace down with the alcohol is go in there with the brush and I'm brushing down. I'm brushing down along the edge of the lace. And if you feel like you need a little more, put a little more. The more alcohol you use, the faster that glue and that makeup is gonna come off. You can kind of move your towel around so that you um, reveal cleaner areas of the towel so you can tell. So you guys can see there that this lace is not as visible as it once was. And then this is where the clips come in to clip this hair all up out of the way right now. I use the microfiber towel. I take the wig fully off the head. I put my towel down like that, and then I place the wig back on top of it. If you don't lift it up, you run the risk of ripping your lace front trying to shove that towel up under there, you know what I mean? So now, microfiber cloth, it's gonna be the same exact technique, same exact steps, just with a towel versus paper. And then the great thing about a microfiber towel is as you're doing it, the fibers of the towel almost go through the lace of the wig. So you can clean in between all those little hexagons of lace. And I'm kind of rubbing side to side with this to kind of loosen up that lace, loosen up that makeup and that glue. And then you can see I'm kind of pulling it back. I had a lot of makeup on that night. <laughs> and the lace on this wig is not quite exactly transparent. It has a slight, tiny, teeny weeny tiny hint of brown to it. So this lace on its own against my skin 
was already a little bit visible. But if you add all that makeup on top of it, girl, it's hard to do this and watch the viewfinder. Again, make sure you get underneath and behind the hairline of the wig to get all that glue and that makeup out. Now, had this wig not been sitting with this makeup on the lace for like six months, it would come off a lot easier. That's the other reason why you should do this after you wear it before you put her away. Because had I done that last year, this would all be gone in 3.2 seconds. And when it's really, you can even get in there and just kind of put the brush in there and in one spot kind of just roll it around. And that's really good for breaking up the glue as well. You can see how much glue and makeup was in this wig, you guys. You see that? And that's only this side. You guys can see now that that lace is pretty much invisible again. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to get all that glue out of the hair, like right here. So you're gonna take all these clips out. Um, and I'm a strong hairdresser. So my wig just kind of pops back into its shape. So you're gonna take your microfiber cloth here and you're gonna spray alcohol on it until it's pretty wet. You want it to be not dripping wet, but you want it to be pretty damp. And then all you do is you just take your, your makeup spot right here, and you're just gonna hold that hair against it, and you're gonna squish it. And you'll see that when I do that, it's getting all of this hair wet. And then since this has a wave, I'm gonna kind of rub it with my fingers while I hold that wave in place, like that. And then you can see that that makeup is all gone out of that wave. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the wave up here, which is a little worse because that was my actual forehead. And I think there's some eyebrow in there too. Lots and lots of alcohol. Um, so same thing, holding the hair into the alcohol. And you just kinda wanna let it soak through. And that's just dissolving that makeup so that you can easily kind of just softly rub it out. <laughs> rub it out, dirty. There's still a little makeup left, so I'll do it again. But you can see how much makeup is on this towel. That's from the wave I just did. And then this is from the front, when I did the lace front. You might wanna do this in a ventilated area, all this alcohol <clears throat> makes it a little hard to breathe sometimes. So I'm just gently rubbing the makeup out of the hair. And it's gotten better. There's still a little bit right here. So since there's just a little, let me just go in with my finger. Just a little bit right there. Go, there's some a little bit here. So let me just take my two fingers inside like this. And go like that. I got most of that makeup out. There's still a little bit in there. Um, but I just, if you actually really wanna go in there, you can get rid of it. Um, and then the great thing about the alcohol is that it'll reactivate whatever hairspray you have in your wig. Zoom out. There she is. Nice and clean. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Be sure to check out all my fun social media stuff down in the box. Also be sure to visit bobbypins.com where I sell a wide array of beautiful synthetic heat safe lace front wigs and wefting as well as professional styling supplies to help you get your wig projects done right. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys again soon for another fun video. Thanks. Bye.